In this session, we're going to get into working with basic fashion designs. And we see a lot of this, you know, your simple monochrome or grayscale printing on t-shirts in retail currently. And we want to be able to design like this in Corel Draw so that we can create the type of looks that we're seeing in modern fashion or in the retail stores and markets. Give us a distinct advantage over our competitors that are just slapping vector around. First thing I'll do is I'll get an image, and I've got an image of Marilyn Monroe here. And the first thing I'll do is I'll do some analysis, and I'll look at the image, and I can see I've got some gray here around the outside, and I want to get rid of that box. To do that, I'm going to come up here to Effects, Adjust, and I'm going to go to the Tone Curve tool. Left click here and make sure that this is set to straight. Now I can tell that this lighter gray in the XY axis is going to be up in this area, so I can drop a note here to protect the rest of the color in the image and then bring another node here and just slide that up a little bit until that gray disappears as you can see right there just move that over and dial that into where I'm comfortable or happy with it and I think that'll be good right there and I'll select OK the next thing I'll do is I'll come over here to my eyedropper tool because I want to verify that that is indeed white and it is. It's 255, 255, 255 RGB or white. Next thing I'm going to do with this image is I'm just going to go to Edit Bitmap and I'm going to open it up in Corel Photo Paint. Once the image is opened, I'm going to come over here to Image and I'm going to convert that to a CMYK. Then I'm going to go to Channels. Now, if you don't have a Channels Docker, you can get to that through Window. Come down here to Dockers and open up your Channels. Another thing that's going to be very important is that if you go to Tools, Color Management, Default Settings, you're going to want to make sure that you're set the Simulated Color Management off or your color conversion may not come back correctly. I'll go ahead and select OK. From my Channels, I'll click on left click and select the black channel. Then I'll come over here to mask, create, channel to mask. Then I go to mask, mask invert. Then I'm going to come here and click on the CMYK channel. This is very important. I won't be able to create an object when I go back to the object docker. And I'll come here from the object docker and I'll click on the plus down here in the left hand corner that'll create a new object. I'll select my background and I can delete that. Then I'm going to go to my color bucket and I'm just going to left click make sure that's set to black which it is down here it's set to black select OK and just click here and there you can see my transparent Marilyn Monroe and I'll go to mask and I'll select remove or I could have hit control R and I'll go ahead and select Save. Then I can go ahead and close Photo Paint. And we can move this over and we can see, and actually I just go ahead and duplicate that. Left click, right click one time, duplicate. And we can see that that is in fact transparent. Now at that point, with this selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Bitmaps, Mode, and we go to Black and White. Now this is all black, it's not going to matter. I'll select OK. Now I have a monochrome bitmap, and you can see that I have a trans white and a black. Your fill is your background color. If I left click on any color, it'll change the background to that color. Now I can left click on the X to make that transparent. And I can right click on any color to change the foreground color. I'm going to go ahead and grab this t-shirt. And then I'll hold down shift and alt so I can select the t-shirt shading and the t-shirt color behind it and I'll duplicate that over here. Left click, drag, right click one time, that's been duplicated. Go ahead and move this color palette for now. I'll bring my Marilyn and I'll just duplicate her on top of the t-shirt. I'll left click and resize that. Bring that down to just about that in size. Now she's really faded out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my color docker and I'll move this palette again. Now for my color docker, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to lock and outline. Now if you need your color docker, you can go to window, dockers, and come down here to color, and that'll bring that up for you. Now this could be locked or unlocked. I'm going to lock it and set it to outline, then I'm going to come over here to show color viewers. Now I'm in RGB. Let me go ahead and scroll over here a bit. Now if this is locked, I can take this point and move that around and really dial in how do I want her to look from a color standpoint. 
make her more faded out if I want to based on the color. Next thing I'll do is I'll go to the transparency tool and I'll come here to the fountain transparency and I'm going to want to change that so that I can have the bottom of her not look like a square bottom. Now I really don't like that amount of fade so I'm going to come over here to a white color left click hold down drag that over and drop that on the transparency and you can see the effect there. Now she's got what looks like a nice smooth transition into the t-shirt at the bottom. Now for the sake of the tutorial I could go ahead and write my Maryland text in but I won't do that because that's very easy to do and there's a lot of tutorials on working with text. So I'll bring this over. Now I want to create those stars that you saw so I'm going to take this Maryland Monroe text I'm going to copy that, paste that, I'm going to fill that with black and once that's done and that's actually in the back Control Z, make sure I've got that set and filled with a black. I'll come down here and fill that with a black. Here I'll go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, 300 dpi, transparent background, very important, select OK, bitmaps, and then I'll go to blur, and I'm setting myself up to use pointalizer in Corel. Go to Gaussian blur, and we'll say at like 41, we could do less if we wanted to. I'll do, let's say, about 30, 38, select OK. Now I'm going to go to my pointalizer, which I purchased, and I created a star as a custom shape. And you can get pointalizer, and I'll go over that in just a minute, from Corel through your macro manager. But I've set some settings up here, and you'll need to play with this and experiment it to understand how it works, and I'll probably do some more tutorials on it in the future. But I'll go ahead and click Apply on that and let that process, and there you can see some stars have now formed. And I'll take these stars and just bring them down a little bit. And I'll just right click on those. And I'll select order. And I'll go in front of. And I'll click on the Maryland. And I actually have Maryland selected. I want to make sure I have the star selected. So I'll click off here and say no. Make sure I've got the star selected. I'll zoom in there. Click on those. Right click. Order. Go to in front of. And click on Maryland. And I'll send those to the back. And now I can change the color of those to say something that's a little more like the shirt. We want something a little bit more. It's going to show up a little bit more. And then I can actually take these, just duplicate them up above her head here for a little bit of a different look there. And then I could actually bring them over here and bring some more in for her hair. Maybe fill out the side of the t-shirt there. Bring these down just a little bit. And I got Marilyn there. I don't want that. I'll hit Control Z. Make sure I've got those stars. They're kind of small for selecting. Bring those down. This I'll take and I'll go ahead and ungroup all. And then I'll go ahead and combine those. And then what I'll do is I'll just right click and I'll select break curve apart. I'll come up here to my pick tool and I'm going to change from pick to freehand. I'll start out here on the side and I'm just going to come in and lasso the stars that are in around her face. And I'll go ahead and hit my delete key to get rid of those and we can see that effect. And I could change the text and dial this in some more. I could go into my color docker, have that locked for outline again, and then just kind of dial this in or tweak this in and however I want it to look. That would really be your judgment call based on what you're looking for in your design. We'll move this over just a little bit more and bring it down just a hair. So you can see how easy these designs are to create. They're really not a lot of work once you know how these techniques work. Now, Pointalizer, if you want to order that, you can actually go to Tools, Macros, and Macro Manager. And I'll go ahead and open that back up. Tools, Macros, Macro Manager. And here you have Get More. And you can scroll down here, and here is the Pointalizer. And you can purchase that. And you can do some really cool halftone effects and different types of mosaic effects with that. And I actually do like working with it in Corel Draw X8. So this is just a quick tutorial on how to create a monochrome fashion design quickly and easily, how to do your monochrome conversions with photo paint, and set up these types of designs that are popular in the retail market at this time. We'll go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next video.